well let's see uh, it's around five the fog is it's right on the doorstep you can make out the island but right behind the island that's a fog wall there's usually a couple of tankers parked out there but they're blocked out of sight so we've got that tanker coming in we've got the two tugs way over here as you can see those uh, misty hills are all fogged out it would be some wet and miserable in those woods today but you definitely would want a waterproof layer Get back to the tanker. crew had a good journey. Oh, I should remember it by heart. The Acadian. And she's empty, of course. You can see me. You can see from the way she's sitting high in the water. Fully loaded. That where that green line in where the green paint and white paint meet. That green part is usually underwater. gonna have to pull back some. There we go. Now, we'll, now I can understand what's going on around the boat.
other people said it was supposed to start raining around 3. It's now almost 5 and it hasn't rained yet. So that's a good sign. her right into the channel properly. They don't want her grounding too close to the grounding by the lighthouse. A puff of black smoke from that from the uh, tugs. Probably one of the best times for eagle spotting because the eagles tend to fly 
extremely close to the ground. Like 20 feet, 30 feet. High above this green field toward the mouth of the inner harbor and, and then up that. And up into there or straight over the west side toward another location. Someone on the on the beach, even in foul weather. At this moment, there's nobody there, so I don't know what they're doing. Now, if I were that weasel, I would probably pick a den. That bank extends a long way. It runs right alongside that potash terminal. The uh, potash terminal blocks a lot of weather. That weasel might have a den in there because there's enough rodent dens and fox dens in there, and raccoon dens, that the weasel will have no problem finding a home. It will be pretty secure from the weather. But the fact that it was pulling denning material in amongst the rocks and the, and the stone walls shows it might stop here for an overnighter. Yeah, those hills are barely, barely make, make out any detail. That is a trouble. dress for the warm daytime temperature. drop really quick at night. And with uh, 
when damp coldness and damp and cold combine. And if you're not layered up enough, you go on to a really big fire. If I can't make out the color, the, the shape and the speed it comes in by, because it's usually the fastest moving boat. Lots of ducks there. down. I think the captain must like it out on the water. I don't think he's in a big hurry to more up at the berth. catch it on the other side of these trees.
And that is the end of this video.